Welcome to Spiritual Dessert Truth, episode 89, for Russell Brand and other people. I went to this dance concert, Crash Dance Company, who I've known for most of my life. <laughs> and they are just so polished, so amazing. They are the definition of synchronicity. They were so in sync. Amazing. Tall, short, all different sizes, and still they were in complete unison complete unison it was gorgeous just really beautiful it was really rough because there's so many things on the 14th that famous one 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 four one four <laughs> at 441 <laughs> I don't know one of you made a nice comment but you just missed the mark by like a minute <laughs> it's kind of funny I live for those moments those very odd synchronicities where everything lines up Sometimes I try to plan them, but you can't plan them. They just have to fall into place. You've got to go see them. You just have an opportunity to see them. It's just amazing. <sighs> I was a leopard girl. <laughs> I'm all layered up. <laughs> it's freezing. <laughs> That's my leather boot. Sorry, against leather <laughs> chair. <laughs> Still working on that revolution, too. Um, there's just so many amazing things going on at the same time. I would have loved to have been at the Pied Piper show. <sighs> Alright, so without further ado, but hurry the heck up. That's all going to get cropped. <laughs> so, God, hmm, what do you think? God chose Revolution, this particular page. Oops. <laughs> Uh, this may be one of the many points in this book where you are shouting the word hypocrite as you read. Don't think I'm unaware of the inevitability of such a charge. I know, I know. I'm rich, I'm famous, I have money. I'm being paid money for this book. I've had private security on and off for years. But there is no doubt that I, as much as anyone, have to change. The only thing I can offer you in the face of this legitimate accusation is that change is something I'm good at. You know, all successful people, that's what they have in common. They are, their adaptability is through the roof. <laughs> if you can roll with the punches and keep adapting, <laughs> you'll be all right. Yes, I've become an expert at change. But I'm starting to really love security. <laughs> Not to pun this particular chapter. It's a good spot. God picked. I just opened the book. There is no doubt that I, as much as anyone, have to change. The only thing I can offer you in the face of this legitimate accusation is that change is something I'm good at. <laughs> I know that change is necessity. I've had to change to survive. I've also had to add, by the way, of mitigation that I couldn't have just written Bookie Work 3, not mentioned global inequality, ecological meltdown, or the complicity of the entertainment industry in holding together a capitalist machine that exploits the very vast majority of people and collected my check. <laughs> yes, I've been in entertainment. It's fun. I just, I like to entertain. I even like to be the person who helps to entertain I like to be the person who helps to have fun. <laughs> I like to be airbrushing and spraying all over people. They like it. <laughs> Some of them do. <laughs> Some models just laugh. I like being the model, and I like being the photographer, and I like being the artist. When I was poor and complained about inequality, they said I was bitter. Now that I'm rich and I complain about inequality, they say I'm a hypocrite. I'm beginning to think they just don't want to talk about inequality. <laughs> Revolution is change. I believe in change. Personal change, most of all. At this time, however, we must coordinate a massive change. So please, shout hypocrite at an inanimate object. If you must, please don't dismiss the ideas of this book. Know, too, that I'm prepared for change, and I have seen what fame and fortune have to offer, and I know it's not the answer. That doesn't diminish these arguments. It enhances them. Of course, I have to change as an individual, and part of that will be sharing wealth, though without 
systematic change will be a sweet, futile gesture. Now let's get back to Matt Stoller. Hey, there's Matt Stoller again, banning private security. Ensuring that I'll have to fight my own fist fights next time I'm leaving the Apollo Manchester. <laughs> the definition of being rich means having more stuff than other people. And in order to have more stuff, you need to protect that stuff with surveillance systems, guards, police, court systems, so forth. All of those somber looking men in robes. God, you're funny. You picked the same spot. Did I maybe make a big crease or something? <laughs> Maybe you just don't want me to read too much of Rusty's books because people got to buy them. <laughs> Do you have another spot you'd like to pick? Time quota. I think that with all love and due respect, I will make my kisses. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. Oh. Pleasant dreams. Nighty night. Love you. <laughs> I wish I was there. <laughs> But I saw a really fun picture with the kiss makeup and it made me happy. It's you and Gareth Roy. You guys make me laugh. I love it. I love you both. <laughs> kiss, kiss.